For most of this course, we will be logging in a teacher role to learn Moodle functionality in depth. Additionally, I will also be showcasing other role functionalities such as the manager, course creator and admin also to give you a well-rounded perspective on multiple roles and how they all function together in a whole picture. In this lesson, you will see how we can edit and customize different aspects of Moodle, particularly the course that you will be teaching. Here again, I have logged in as a teacher and I am currently on the teacher dashboard. That is the first screen that I get after logging in. In this page, you can prominently see the list of courses that you are teaching based upon the permissions that your role have been set with you will either be able to or not be able to customize various pages and this ability will always be reflected here in the upper right corner of the page for example now here i see a prominent button customize this page on my dashboard if i click on that button I will be able to move the blocks around or even add additional blocks. I will return back to the dashboard now and click on the first course. The page that we are seeing now is a very important page and is called as the course home page. The layout should be familiar to you by now. We see various blocks with different information. There is a navigation and administration block. Based on how your course is set up, you may see more or less blocks and they may also be positioned differently. However, what you see now is also extremely close to what your students also will be able to see. And this is where most of the students learning activities will occur for this particular course. Once again, if you see in the upper right hand corner, you can see a button called turn editing on. This button is present because you as the teacher by default have the permissions required to customize this page. Let us click on the turn editing on button and see what happens. The first thing to notice is that the page has changed subtly and several visual cues are provided to the items that you can customize. The five important intuitive visual cues let us understand one by one and this will be consistent throughout Moodle 3.0. First, you can see this crosshair arrow icon which stands for the ability to move items just by drag and drop. When you are in position, your mouse icon will also change to let you know this item is movable, like so. If you want, you can click, drag and drop to a new position. The second cue is the gear icon. This icon allows you to edit various aspects of the item and will always open the configuration in a new page. What options you can edit will depend upon the item itself. The third visual cue is the gear icon with a small drop down. This is just an extension of the previous one, but when you click on it, you will be presented with a drop down menu with multiple things that you can customize. Some of the menu options will open a new page for you to customize. The options that are present in each item are dynamic. For example, options present on a block will be different to those that are present on a learning resource. The fourth visual cue is the eye symbol. We can see it here. This icon controls the visibility of an item. That is, if you enable this button, the particular item will not be visible to a student. The icon will change to an eye with a barred line, which means that the item is now invisible to the students. And you can also see the label, the title bar. 
has also grayed out which is a cue to you that this item is now invisible to the students. The fifth and last visual cue that we will discuss now is the cross icon. Intuitively, this icon will delete that particular item from the page. You should of course use this option with caution because it will mostly be irreversible. Finally, when you have finished with all your customizations, you should toggle back the turn editing off button. This will additionally save all the customizations that you have done and revert you back safely into the course homepage again. Once you return to the homepage, again what you see now, once you return to the homepage, again what you see now on the course structure is what the students of this course will also will see. Now that you have learned how to enable editing mode for your course and recognize the visual cues provided by Moodle, going further in the next few lessons, we will see how to customize our course exactly how we want it.